Hello Scorpios, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Tell Tarot and this is your reading for July 2024. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Scorpios in July? Okay, we got a bunch of cards flying out together. Nine of Pentacles, the Tower, Six of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Mm, I don't know why I just got a brave new view. That's random. I meditated on your cards, nothing really came through. And as I'm shuffling and I'm putting the cards down, a brave new you. That's nice, I like it. Whatever's happening. Um, I'll talk you through these cards and I'll clarify them. But Nine of Pentacles to start with is very independent energy. Uh, you've created a lot of success for yourself, or in July are, and you're feeling very accomplished, maybe alone, but not lonely. You're going to be finding yourself like in solitude maybe, not really looking for anybody if you're single. Um, even if you're in a relationship, it's just as if you like to be alone and you find yourself alone 99% of the time in July you're just more secure you're feeling more secure in your alone time or more productive or something I'm gonna clarify and see what that's all about um or there's something you're facing on your own uh the tower card came out which is abrupt transformation which Scorpios I really like this card and I feel like you do too but the other signs don't really like the tower. It's like, ah! Whereas you're not really afraid of fast change. You embrace it. You embrace anything that could be considered um, surprising or unexpected. You're embracing it. And that's why I think the tower card's so cool. Because instead of running away from whatever's going on, you run towards it and you face it head on and you make it work for you. Six of Cups is returning to a more innocent like way of being. You could be around kids more, um, or your inner child is just playing. You're letting yourself play, you're letting yourself do things that um, you don't usually do because it's not so serious or it's not productive or it doesn't get you to where you want to go in life. There's something where it's like embrace the fun even if there's no point of something. The fun is the point, the enjoyment you get out of doing something is the point. It's like that saying, time enjoyed wasting is not wasted time, or whatever it is. Like if you're enjoying doing something, it's not a waste of time. And I feel like in July you're doing more things just for the sake of it, just for the fun of it, um, just for the nostalgia. Um, yeah, very much like, I feel like you might get a weird look for something that you do in July. Why are you doing that? Why are you wearing that? And you're like, makes me happy like there's something maybe there's something you used to wear when you were younger um that isn't in fashion trend now it's like you you're wearing it anyway you're like they make me happy whatever it is uh, it makes me happy it could be like a hat that's kind of silly to others but you're like oh i'm so happy to wear this um whatever it may be if you enjoy it that's all that matters i'm looking at the next card and there's a hat on this lady and it's like very much over the top um if you were to wear that like there's a feather on it i was about to say some people are going to think that's not over the top but there is a feather on that and it just feels if, if you went around in that hat you would get a weird look but if it makes you happy do what makes you happy um four of pentacles also stubborn energy also i'm getting something about like snobby energy um i'm gonna see why it could be you but it's probably not it's probably someone around you uh i'll see it is just the reason I'm saying it's probably not is I'm not getting snobby energy from you if you are wearing silly goofy things you're not in your ego you're not turning your nose up at other people because you're enjoying yourself wearing your silly hat someone else is being a bit snobby anyways clarify the nine of pentacles for Scorpio okay the hermit wow I don't really need to talk much more about the Nine of Pentacles because what I already explained is being you very on your own, 
you in your solitude, you isolating a little bit in July. Clarified by the Hermit. How amazing. I don't... There's something as well, if, if, if July is a little bit uncertain, or if there's anything you're not sure about what's happening in your life in July, whether that be your career, your love life, or something where you're like, is this heading where I want it to head? There's something guiding you out of the darkness or the uncertainty in July. There's some type of like light, um, lighthouse for you, whether that be a person, or which is funny because I said you're on your own, but it could be, um, you know what I'm saying? It could be an animal, it could be, there's something guiding you and lighting your path up if it does seem a little bit dark because I said that you're very successful and you got a lot of in, like financial independence or you've got a lot of security you're feeling good doing good but then there's just something here where things are a bit dreary dreary is a weird word but there's something where things are a bit dark for you or you were feeling that way and then in July there's something that's Something, someone, or something, something, someone, or something, that uh, is going to be the light. And it could be yourself, for a lot of you, <laughs> lighting your own way out of a storm or something. Clarify the tower. The Empress and the Knight of Wands. Hmm. Some of you, if you are single and you've been like playing the field, if that's a good way to put it, you, that's going to abruptly end. That's the quick transformation here. It's like, oh, there's something long term coming in that escalates quite quickly. Or if you're already in a relationship, there's just something abruptly changing and a lot of you, it could be having a baby because the Empress is here. Um, others of you, you have to travel for work, you have to move away for a little bit. I'm getting like a long-term contract, so it's like, oh, I've got to go do this. Some of you, you're touring. There's some type of tour you're doing, and you're like, I'm signed on to do this tour for this many months. Uh, it's just like this energy of you not asking someone to wait around, but then you find out that they're, they're like, oh, I'll wait. I would rather wait than... There's something kind of romantic about it, but the words aren't leaving my mouth. There's something like where this person just wants to wait. They would be willing to. And... Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to clarify the Six of Cups. The Moon and the Nine of Wands. Some of you, that's weird, I don't know why I'm humming like that, that was awkward. Some of you, there's something here, maybe you're letting yourself be awkward and do weird things. Um, with that inner child, Nine of Wands and the Moon, there's a part of yourself you've kept hidden for a very long time. It can be something you like to do, maybe you like to sing, maybe you like to dance, maybe there's a piece of yourself that you really do enjoy doing when no one's around. And in July, you're like, well, hmm. I'm gonna do it more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop hiding this piece of myself because Nine of Wands is wounded warrior. So you could have been teased for something that you liked to do in the past and you stopped doing it. You pulled back. People didn't approve or told you you weren't very good. And then with the Moon card, it's like actually they never saw it. They never saw whatever it is you have to offer, or they never saw the full side to you that you're hiding. So if you just like in July, you're unashamedly completely like diving headfirst two feet in whatever the saying is to something you love doing without worrying about the fear of judgment and I feel like that could be now why we're moving into this snobby energy because there's someone that doesn't approve or something I'm gonna clarify what's the four of pentacles doing
I like that it's not clarifying it. Okay. Four of Cups. You could be seeing fours a lot. Um, yeah. Hmm. Some of you... Huh. I like... I don't know why I like this. This made me laugh. Um, you're gonna get rejected for a job. Or um, if you're single and you're dating, someone's gonna reject you. It's good. It's a good thing. And you're even gonna be happy about it. Maybe not straight away, but give it five, ten minutes and you're gonna be moved on. The reason being is this person is a little bit like snobby energy. Um, this person, snobby is a word I shouldn't keep using, it's very, I don't know, I feel like it's a childish word to use, but this person is just looking down their nose or looking at you as but you're below them. Um, and if you are in this very Six of Cups energy, very childlike innocence, letting your innocent, um, your inner child play, wearing a silly hat, doing something that others don't have the confidence to do, saying things that others don't have the confidence to say, um, talking in voices that others don't have the confidence, like you're just expressing yourself freely or you're doing your thing. Those that are too afraid to do that and they're too uptight and they're too like prim and proper, they're too conformed into a tight little box in a way, aren't going to like it that you have the bravery and the confidence and the courage to just do what you want to do and be who you want to be. So there's something here where they're going to reject you, but it's actually like the universe being like, oh no, doing you a favour here because this person, sometimes you want what you can't have and I feel like for a second you want to want this person more because people don't usually reject you, Scorpio. So the second someone does, you're like, oh. And then you kind of are going to realise down the track, Thank God. Thank God. Dodged a bullet. Um, and that's just for those of you that are dating. Others of you, that could be a, um, a job offer. If someone's like, you don't fit the bill, you don't cut the criteria we're looking for, don't be upset. You wouldn't have wanted to be around this person anyways. You wouldn't want this job. There is some better opportunity coming in where you can be yourself. And that's all you would want. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said res resonated or you feel it will, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Top Tarot Tuesdays. <laughs>